So I'm currently working on a project in Dr. Matt Good's lab, and it's focusing on the effects of urbanization on uh, reptiles. So one of our study sites for the snake project that we're doing is at Stone Canyon, which is located in the Tortolita Mountains. And that site's basically a um, developing area. So the three main species that we're focusing on are the Crotalus atrox, the diamondback rattlesnake, Crotalus mellosus, the blacktail, and Crotalus tigris, the tiger rattlesnake. We also do work on Gila monsters, um, and we capture any other snakes that we find. So one of the main projects that we're doing right now is mark recapture and collecting measurements. So each night we'll go out on the golf cart and in the car and we'll do two laps, so two surveys around our site, um, two paths. The first is the road, the second is the golf cart path. So we go out every night during the week and then capture anything that we see. We'll collect temperature um, data such as the temps on the ground and humidity, and we'll also collect the location, so the UTMs in which we caught that snake, so we know where to return it the next time. And we'll bag all of the stuff we get, take it into the lab to process it the next day, we'll work where we will get um, body measurements, mass, um, we'll insert a pit tag for identification. If it's a rattlesnake, we paint their rattles so it's easy to find in the field, and collect all of that data in the lab and then the next night we'll take it out to release it exactly where we found it. We're studying the effects of urbanization on these reptiles and we would expect that the reptiles would be less abundant or there would be a loss of biodiversity as people are building houses in these areas. But we've kind of found it to be the opposite. They're actually more abundant at this site and we think it's because of the golf course. And we don't think that the houses are having too much of an effect because the houses are really uh, spread apart and there's still a lot of wild land around there. One of the most interesting um, results from this study has been the fact that the tiger rattlesnake diet has changed. Instead of eating more like smaller reptiles like lizards, they're eating larger rodents and this may be because they're just more abundant around the golf course. So they have uh, more food sources so that doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, in total we're at about 1,300 tiger rattlesnakes, 600 diamondbacks, um, 300 blacktail rattlesnakes, and 336 Gila monsters. And this has been going on since 2002.